Wait, I'm talking, I'm talking. <laughs> Into your right hand. I can't switch. Why are you putting your bones on my fries? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. If this is your first time seeing me, hi, my name is Aisha, and welcome to my channel. And if, and if you are a returning <laughs> subscriber, welcome back. So today I have a guest here. Yes, 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 I'm here. This is my friend, my one. Yes, you wanna only say it. Say it, say it. This is my friend. My friend. My friend. <laughs> guys, I'm her one and only. Friend. She means it. <laughs> Just, she means this guy is one and only. I don't know why she is like <laughs> pretending on the internet. Guys, yeah. this is my friend Amina Danjuma, and she's Hi. going to be joining me here today. Also, so this is a mukbang. I don't know. A mukbang is like a sitting down and eating type of video. Yeah, right? it's actually supposed to be also eating like a lot of food, but oh, I mean, okay. we're not. Got some food here. We're not horses. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some food here from Chicken Republic. So I have jollof rice and chicken. <laughs> And I have um, the chiquis meal, so it's basically like a sandwich. Yeah, it's basically like a sandwich. I have some fries here, and then more, more chicken. chicken. Then we have this ketchup that we're not going to use. I'm not gonna use them, but I don't eat ketchup. So. I, I don't like ketchup, but then the chips are like really dry, so I can't really. Okay, so yeah, she's doing ketchup. I have Fanta. I have Coke, but I I'm not nice mixing Fanta and Coke. Cause yes, now. I have my orange Guys, juice. Let me know. Am I the only one that does not drink juice? Like I don't drink juice. I, Cause. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my god. god. Uh uh. Okay, so you want to drink directly? Oh, can I just drink it directly? You can if you're a bad bitch. I mean, ah, it's your going black to sink. Beef. My listen is going to sink. My straw. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. So yeah, we're going to be talking about you know some stuff that's been happening. Let me just pour my juice. Pour your juice. I'm good. I'm out of my juice. Guys, I'm not a fast, I'm not a soft drink drinker, but whenever you go to Chicken Republic, you all know, you always get the drink, and me, I cannot leave my mind. I'm sure you guys, like, like, I know I'm not the only one that goes to Chicken Republic. I know we are not the only ones that go to Chicken Republic to eat. So if you go to Chicken Republic, what is, like, your, order. your staple order? Yeah. Yours is always jollof rice, right? Yeah, mine is always jollof rice. I don't know. I think no, they call tell it like, them, like, the full order that you always Yeah, get. I think they call it, like, the citizen meal. No. I think they call it, like, the citizen meal. You know the jollof rice that comes with two fried chicken and the drink? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's what, I think the, I don't know if the citizen meal, but that's what I always get. Well, excluding the cost low, because I don't eat vegetables. Because she's a village, so, yeah? Yeah. yeah, I get jollof rice. I also, when I go there, I always say, oh, I want jollof rice with two chicken. <laughs> and then a drink. I don't know, what do you get? I always always get the, um, before Max or the before combo. So basically, the before combo is like one meal and chicken and no any other extra. Whenever I'm not hungry, I get that. I always, always get rice and beans, guys. Rice and beans is... That's B. I always get rice and beans and my... Yeah, rice and beans and one chicken. Or I get rice and beans, one chicken, the um, salad, and then a drink. So guys, the reason why I don't get the uh, rice and beans, oh my god, I'm eating and talking. My dad is not <laughs> going to like this. <laughs> so yeah, the reason why I don't get the rice and beans is because the sauce comes with a lot of onions. And it's it going to be, it. it comes with a lot of onions. Is that what you can say? A lot. You know why? It's because Anna likes onions. So she won't really Love. notice like if there are a lot of onions. And then can you do tissue, please? Yeah, so she won't really notice if there are lots of onions in the food because that's what she likes. So I love onion. Okay, when you go out like on a date and you order chicken mm -hmm. and you try to eat the chicken with like your your fork and knife, but the chicken is proving to be stubborn. Do you use your hand or do you try as much as you can to eat it with your fork and knife? Well, first of all, I've never been on a date, so <laughs> it's not sad. Don't worry. Like it's not like people have not been lining up behind this. Like look at me. I am a beaut, but <laughs> I've just never been. But the the one I've never been on a date, so I don't really know. So but if I'm, I wait, your boyfriend. <laughs> you know, I'm just call you on the phone. You guys start talking, and you start dating. I don't do boyfriends. <laughs> I don't. That's the I don't do boyfriends. So are you single now? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't <love> you. <laughs> Don't let me choke. Are you single now? No, I'm not. Okay, so what are you saying now? That I you don't, don't do boyfriends? I, I didn't used to do boyfriends. 
Oh. Yes. Mm. Shall? <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> but I would actually eat my chicken. It depends. But if I go on a date with somebody, except if it's like, I don't know if it's like a first date, I'm just meeting you then. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, I'll be out. I don't again. think there's any chicken that is too strong for my fork and knife. <laughs> Happy? So long as the fork and knife is not like made of rubber. It will, it will shock you. Who born you? It will Which shock you. You'll go to a restaurant. Their chicken is like bone. <laughs> the actual chicken. That's the. Like I will not go to those type of restaurants. You never catch oh, me here. It can never be me. <laughs> oh shit! So I see my sandwich is like three bread slices. I think it's just chicken cheese and sorry, chicken cheese and some dry as lettuce. Like so guys, happy new year. First of all, yeah. If you're looking at me, I'm eating with my left hand. It's with your right hand. I can't switch. See, I don't, I don't need anybody to preach for me. I actually you know that it is not good, but guys... Guys, I've preached for her enough. I was born like this. I Who know! I born like this? I don't like people that were born like this and like, they switched to their right hand, but it's so hard for me. Well, lie, I'm not going to lie. Like, I tried to, but it's just so hard for me. And I'm hungry right now. <laughs> so you don't have anything to be patient? It's alright. Hunger is bad. God, food is life. Food is... Food... Food makes me so happy. What's up? What's up with that? He's butt all up in the internet, so I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what is happening? I know I normally don't talk about like all these trending topics. Like especially if they're very controversial, yeah. I don't talk about them on the internet. No, I mean, more. Don't go to his butt on the internet. Dirty, so. <laughs> they did him dirty. Just okay. Care. I was saying I shall like I don't understand why there's no NDA like ag agreements like when you uh, somebody like them would say I, I would assume that if he's dating someone mm -hmm. I mean inside that paper and see like whenever we separate there's no no nothing that you can put on the internet or I'll sue you for all you have yeah I think celebrities do that yeah I was surprised that she's able to like come out and talk about it I mean I said maybe they were in love and when he was in love he not think about that <laughs> I don't know maybe love care okay. if I was dating down with people would never hear about it never ever ever even if you break up neither and I don't go here nah what you hear it to me <laughs> uh, I will shout it on the rooftop I'll be like down with is bae I'll be like dinner with bae like, will you with post bae. this picture no, so I, oh, all this enemy of progress will come and enter my house. So how do they know that you're dating Angote? No, family members we know. We're ah. taking a people on the internet now. I will elude it, boy. I'll not like, they will be speculating, they will not be sure. They'll be like, ah, who is this girl? I'll be like, I've been with the richest person in the world, it's not, I mean, richest African man. You don't do that. Nah, I mean, you, you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe I would, but mm -hmm. my heart, I will not do that actually, true. Mm -mm. The other girlfriend was posting about how. She's talking about how can you offer someone that has everything, right? Mm -hmm. If it's women, you can get the most beautiful ones. If it's like food, he has like the most talented or the best chef. Yeah. What you can offer someone that can afford all of that is loyalty. And you cannot buy that with money. Nah. You know the thing is, um, in as much as from her statement, what she's basically saying is that what women offer is sex cooking food, cleaning, and all of that, which obviously that's not all, I mean, that's not all I offer, but yeah. So that's the problem. I can understand why you feel like, oh my God, I'm with the richest person in the world. Like, mm -hmm. what, what does he want with me? What, what can I, it's normal for you to feel intimidated. For you to think that that's the only thing you can offer this person, I mm -hmm. think that's like a wrong way to look at it. Because I mean, like you said, loyalty, I have like a proper, like if, if the person can come and have like a decent, conversation with you and still no matter what you have value you have some sort of value one way or the other to add in as much as he is well traveled well experienced and everything no matter yeah. what you have some sort of value to add so i don't that her business yeah so now i'm going to say but single ah uh, single and searching with caution i feel bad for the man yeah now for anyone he has today like he has to be he has to be like extra careful but guys, funny enough, I don't know why they were dragging him on the internet because like, he's not married. Sure. They didn't drag this man. I don't know. They didn't drag this man. True. Like, true. At all. True. Kai, are and you it was the, it was, it was the ah. girl that this has happened to. 
For don't hear around. The way they will drag her. For don't go ball at Papa house. They will say how this is haram, that is haram, that is haram. But look at them with you going around dating somebody that her boobs are like watermelon sizes and her <laughs> and her butt is like the size of I don't know a car, a G wagon car. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody is saying and should not have hijab on. Nobody is saying anything. I'm, I mean, I'm not discriminating his choices. He has good eyes, but. <laughs> but <laughs> No, but that's it. Well, it is that if this was a lady, like, dude, they would have dragged her and dragged her full generation. But, I mean, I guess that's like the Nigeria. Are you guys on Clubhouse? <laughs> that app. If you are not, please just find a way to get get gate pass and hop on that app i was on that app <clears throat> last night from i think 9 p.m to 2 a.m I, I, I don't know i don't know time went by life. like that i didn't know nigerians like to talk back like and forth talk. on the same issue oh my god nigerians can't talk, can't talk for africa but Shai, it's quite interesting i really like the app and also love the fact that they don't have a messaging feature in the app yeah. because the amount of highs <laughs> you get on that is mad i get problems no i'm not even talking about fighting. a lot of random people sending you high high get out. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine it's fine get problems now mm -mm. Mm -hmm. okay you know all the time i see people talking about their friends like in a very derogatory way okay and they say oh you're hitting on me or you're going behind my back and then I see the kind of post that some people make and I'm like, if you notice someone is doing that to you, it's either you cut them off and or you what is it called? Or you confront no, not confront her, or you tell them how you feel, right? What's the point of going on social media or going on your Snapchat to shade your friend or say someone has done bad to you or say you have haters because it's like all of you have haters, I don't even understand. <laughs> Everybody, everybody, has haters. everybody has haters. Like, what do you do? Who are you? <laughs> everybody has haters. I don't understand. Do you know? Do you, I think the problem is that people use. I always say this thing to everybody. Like, people use the word friend loosely. I I feel like that's like the main problem. I can count the amount of friends I have in one hand. Mm -hmm. But everybody literally just be like, oh, that's my friend. You went to school together. That's my friend. You shared. The fact that I don't call you my friend doesn't mean we're enemies. We're acquaintances. Like, we're cool. If you meet yeah. outside, like. If I cannot call you and cry, if I cannot call you and tell you my problems, yeah. you are not my friend. And if you can't also call me and do so, Exactly, if we can't yeah. do that with you, like, we're not, we're not friends. That's just the truth of the matter. If we only see each other outside, we're like, hello, hi, or you only call me, ah, come to this party, come to... We're yeah. not friends. And I feel like that's, like, the main problem. People use the word friends loosely. Yeah. So the fact that you use this word, like, to this person that you don't really have, like, that bond mm -hmm. with, obviously, the person doesn't really owe you anything. The person can go around saying whatever it is they are saying. But that's not true. And that's the thing, because there's nobody out call my friend that they will be talking about me and that person would not say no that's not i mean the person will not stand up and vice versa there's nobody that is like my friend and i would i would like somebody else will be talking bad about you or something and i'll stand and be looking at you like it won't work like that but if you're not my friend i'll just i mean i'll keep i don't think i have those type of people in my life yeah very so people need to chill a bit so it's yeah, like, everybody's just ain't nobody everybody's hitting angry. on you like catch your catch Hater, your friends Hater, <laughs> Guys, so 2020, we're in 2021. Let's see, Zaisha, what did you learn from 2020? Your family is everything. Yeah. And I kind of saw that in play this past year. If someone loves you, you will know. Yeah. Period. Period. If someone loves you, you are going to know. And that's some period. Like, you will not be confused. You will not be having any sort of doubt. If someone loves you, you're going to feel it. So stop forcing relationships that are not working. <laughs> no when to leave. 2020. 2021, no forced relationships. Nah. No way on a talking stage. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're not doing that. We're going to know each other. What's your favorite color? No, let's go with the flow. <laughs> oh. yes, let's, go, let's go with the flow. Carry your hand and be going. There's no flow. flow. <laughs> I'm among people that since 2020 was not my year. Nah. Really? Yeah. I'd... What happened? Guys, for the most, like, all my life, I've literally always been on, like, go. Yeah. I've never had like a pause period. Mm -hmm. So 2020 was the first time in my entire life where I had like a standstill or like a pause period or whatever where I was literally just like paused in my life and it was very hard for me to it was I, I could not I did not know how to like deal with that. More to them. Okay. Your life being on a pause <clears throat> all her life you have always been School, school, yeah. more school, more school. 
<laughs> I'm coming to Kaduna. <laughs> I swear. That has literally been like all my life. And then, so when I came out for my masters, and then it was like, so what am I, what am I supposed to do next in my life? Yeah. And it was just like nothing. It was, it was very hard for me to like come to grasp with. Especially the fact that like that was the first time I was just literally at home doing nothing. And I told you like, the first half of the year, I was crying every day. Like I cried every single day because I was just I and the funny part is like, you ask me I know <laughs> what? I want for dramatic <laughs> You asked me why I was crying. I just did not know. I was crying every single day. Well I, I so what did I learn in 2020? Bottom of the story. I mean I learned to like you don't have control because I always used to I was my one of my best friends victory. We used to have this conversation in school and then she was like, ah, look, look, because we were studying computer science and we don't know anything. <laughs> so she used to say that she believes in God and then when she finished uni, she's going to be, if there's like one opportunity for somebody, she's going to be that one person that will get that opportunity regardless of the fact that she doesn't really know the computer science. Yeah. And me, I was always like, no, it's your hard work. Because I was always big on like, you you work for something, you get it. Yeah. So that was like my mentality. So she was like, no, I mean, I sometimes like luck. I was like, nah, it's your hard work and everything. Mm-hmm. So I learned that, I learned this year that it's definitely not your doing. Things that happen to you in your life. So all those times that I was working hard and getting results and doing things, and I thought that it was my power. I honestly thought that like, it's because I'm doing this thing that that's why no. I'm getting these results. I definitely learned that it has. I mean, you work hard, but then all in all, it's still God. If God says like it's not time for you to do this, it's not like you can work up to this tomorrow. It's not time. It's not time. So I definitely learned to believe in God. Why are you putting your bones on my fries? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> why? <laughs> I learned to believe in God more, guys, and just like just go with the flow. She said, "Don't go with the flow. Don't go with the flow. Nah, don't go with the flow. With life, because it's like you can't kill yourself. But then that doesn't mean you plan. There are things that are beyond your control. Once something is out of your control, there's no point worrying about yeah, it. Yeah, I definitely worried. <laughs> there's no point. I mean, worried, but yeah, there's no point worrying about it. But 2020, I was in. Toward the end, I tried to. I started like coming to terms. Okay, it's not that bad, guys. By the end of the day, I have to learn my life." I'm not worrying about like shelter, food, clothing, like I'm not worried about anything in life, alhamdulillah, so I still, like I'm grateful for that. I so, still, I mean, I that. And then, whenever she's feeling yeah. down. And then. <laughs> and then what? You must say, you idiot. <laughs> and then. You say it. it wasn't that bad. 2020 wasn't that bad. I mean, 2020. Yeah, 2020 wasn't that bad. That's what I'll say. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I met somebody. Oh, okay. It's okay. Let, let me be. It's okay. It's okay. I, I, I've said it. Let me let me be. Oh I've said God. it, yes. And he's an okay human being. He tried. Oh, he tried, oh. he tried for his age. Mm. <laughs> no matter how bad you think your life is, there's always, there's always someone whose life is worse, worse than yours. Yeah. So yeah. she always look at that person and just thank God. Yeah. Uh, that, that that's one of the reasons why you have like two million people doing body surgeries every day. I feel like there's a lot of people that have like body dysmorphia. So basically, body dysmorphia is kind of like you are just never satisfied with your body, mm. no matter how. And it's it's an unhealthy. It's not healthy. It's like an unhealthy mental state whereby you just feel like something is wrong with your body. It could be like oh, your my arms are too big, my stomach is too flabby, and my laps are too like big, or yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. too short, I'm too like fat, I'm too skinny. And when other people look at you, they look at they are seeing you like you look normal, yeah, you yeah, actually yeah. look fine, mm-hmm. but you're just never okay with your body. And I feel like most people have that, but then nobody really like m- says it. And to a certain degree, I'm not going to lie, I feel like I have that problem because all my life, do you know, funny, not all my life, to be, growing up, secondary school, I was never like, I, I never had like weight issues. Mm-hmm. It was when I went to uni, after my first year, I gained weight. I mean, like, more money, more problems. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to school, they give you money, you eating junk food, and amongst other things. So I gained weight, and ever since then, when I came back, and actually the main reason why I gained weight was not because of food. It was because of like I told you when I was in, when I was in my period and all of that. Now, yeah. So I gained weight, and then immediately I came back. I was like, ah, I mean, ah, what? Like people started like making comments. I was like, I look like balloon that they blew Aww. up and everything. So. I feel like it's not that I'm even thinking about it. I think subconsciously because before then I never had an issue with my weight. But after then, 
I, I always had an issue even when like looking back at my pictures and I'm like I was actually I was actually not bad looking like I was decent looking but then I, guys I look like boom and I thought I was fat it was so mm. bad like I've always thought I was like fat even I asked Aisha I'm always telling her that oh I've added it I've added it yeah, true. and she's looking at me like what's wrong with this mad woman <laughs> but then I feel like a lot of people deal with this weight it's a very uh, it's a very annoying topic the tricky thing the tricky thing and I think it's people around us that trigger it in people how you look at somebody <laughs> and the first thing you say ha you're fat oh see your cheeks i don't know ah, see your stomach what are you eating what's that they say i don't oh, have mirror guys i know i have a mirror we know we know we know to do better how about let's do better what's that please for goodness sake that's the thing and then you subconsciously you make people like start taking all these things subconsciously and then Obviously, they grow up always having one issues, and before you know, they are going to go and do BBL. And if they die on the same bunny you pool, still insult them. And that you be like, ah, why can't you love yourself? Why can't you do this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you allow them to love themselves? Mm. I was saying, Aisha, what are your 2021 like hopes, or do you have any major goal? Or I mean, like, obviously, I'm not saying you should play out in the world, but like any major thing that you're like, yeah, I because want to if do I say this. it now, it won't yeah, work. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> No, but they're like something oh, like that. Sounded so shady. <laughs> <laughs> is there any like thing that you want to focus on in the aspect of your life? This One thing you that I'm 100 percent sure of is I plan to be very, very religious. Actually, yeah, that's it. Literally, that's it for me. Yeah, religious. Oh my oh, yes. guys, <sighs> I'm last gonna try. Year, my goal, and the thing is. I feel like you just start small small you don't have to be like the most religious person just like try and every day make a step last year my goal was to not show my hair and because you know how you see your edges like everything is slicked back and you're looking cute and all yeah. guys it was hard i know that it doesn't seem like a problem but it was so hard for me but that was like my goal i had that goal in 2019 but i fell off the wagon and then 2020 i was like this is it i'm going to not show Where like, my edges yeah throughout like my head that head oh, I was like I tied down and that's why you know if you notice I don't tie tall brands anymore because if you tie that one it's always just nicer like if you push it you know just backwards mm. smaller your edges be it but that was my goal for 2020 and I handled it I achieved it I plan on continuing 2021 and my goal for 2021 is to try and dress like more modestly I know like obviously I don't dress like I'm not like provocative or anything like that guys basically small small steps but like yeah, that's the main steps. thing for me I'm trying to like be a bit more modest and also like be closer to God pray try and complete my five daily prayers of time True. that's a struggle for me I'm that's, going a to lie. that's like, that's a main it's like a big struggle for me but inshallah we're, get, we're going to get there I want to be intentional about everything I'm doing yeah. I want to put my heart to it like I want to give it my 100 if it doesn't work, no matter what it is, business, no like personal relationships, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I'm going to put my all. I'm not going to look back and be like, oh, I should have done this, or I should have yeah. done that. Yes, so, so that, and then also, I feel like we shouldn't be waiting for New Year's to like mm -hmm. better ourselves. There's always room for improvement. Yeah. You don't have to wait for the year to end and you'll be like, oh, next year I'm going to be a better person or do better. Because next year is literally just the same day. Sorry. It's the next day and yeah. that's it. There's no difference. We started hungry. <laughs> We're living full. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Too full. Oh my God. But. So, guys. This was a blast. This is the end of this video. Let me know if you guys like this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, yeah, go ahead and check out the video I film on Amina's channel. We did the song Association Challenge. I was trying so hard to not, not to mess that up. Yeah, we did the song Association Challenge. Go ahead and check it out. It was so much fun. And yes, it was. Yeah, this was great as well. So, my new subscribers, thank you so much, guys. And welcome to the farm. Yeah, thanks so much, guys, for watching. Please like this video, subscribe, and leave me a sweet, sweet comment. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!